Hi, and welcome back to DevExplaining channel. Today I will tackle what's new in Java 18. And of course, Java 18 being just an intermediate release, uh, everything in, in it will be also part of Java 21 next year. Uh, that's going to be the big one after 17. Uh, UTF-8 will be the default character set for everything in uh, Java 18. You are probably not going to see much of a difference, uh, but earlier the default was undefined. So let's say that if you are running Windows in Asian regions, there might be some kind of incompatibilities with old tools, but uh, it's going to be all good otherwise. So minor update. If we talk about a little bit bigger updates that are interesting, um, we are getting a simple web server. It's not going to be anything. You, it's not going to be a servlet engine. It's not going to run dynamic code. Uh, not going to be full featured production web server. So it's just minimal built in HTTP server that you can very easily use to serve static files. Okay, so pretty nice thing. You can use it from command line. You can use it from code. And it also ties up nicely with some existing APIs. So again, not a big deal, just a small tiny thing. I think it will be most useful if you are uh, learning something or teaching something. So it's very fastly available for static content. Next thing that's exciting for me is code snippets in Java APIs, because this is going to make the APIs more hands-on and much better. So you have a new structure you can put in your Java comments, and that will inject a code block and then it's possible to actually use some validation tools to make sure that the code is valid. Uh, additionally, uh, there's a nice copy-paste functionality that gets people started with your new APIs very rapidly. It's already there, it's part of Java 18, so you can use it as, as per today. Java 18 was released, uh, released in March 2022, so it's nicely available already. After those two things, we have just smaller things coming up. So there is a finalization. It's finally going to be deprecated. It was not very reliable or good mechanism. It's recommended to use your own cleaners instead or just try with resources uh, construct. But it's marked as deprecated. Again, might be some effects on some very old tools if they have been relying on, on finalize, finalizer. Okay. So some turbulence might be coming up because of these updates. Uh, internet address resolution, uh, service provider interface. Uh, so it goes a little bit like provider based. You can plug and play uh, with different providers for internet address resolution. Uh, one part, uh, one reason for this is enabling Loom, but also enabling a lot of extensibility. By the way, if you don't still know what's Amber, Loom and Panama, I uh, got another video about that, not going to explain that today, but I will link it in this video. So go and look that up. Uh, Re-implementation of core reflection with method handles. So uh, we've had this reflection uh, API for ages, but now it's going to be re-implemented with uh, method handles, making it a bit uh, cleaner and uh, quite a lot faster, uh, potentially. Then we have some previews and incubation. So uh, you have probably seen my earlier videos about pattern matching, pretty cool stuff coming up. And that's um, uh, pattern matching is part of Amber. So uh, again, you should really see the video if you haven't seen it, but uh, it goes into second preview. So it's getting ready. Uh, we can bet that it's going to be part of Java 21, but they are still doing some iterations with it. And then uh, for the foreign function and memory API, a replacement of JN JNI, with superior pure Java development model. Uh, we are getting second incubation, so early stages, but they are iterating and seeing how that works. And then one more thing that I have mentioned in earlier videos, that would be a vector API. Uh, very special purpose, uh, high performance, uh, kind of parallel programming model that uses hardware quite efficiently. So we are entering third incubation for that. Again, it's something that's going to be done and, and part of Java 21. So uh, stay tuned. And I pretty much managed to do this in five minutes, but I will drop the links to some lengthier videos on the upcoming features. And if you are like me, a Java enthusiast and like to stay up to date where Java is heading, you might want to invest a little bit of time and look them up because it's cool stuff. And uh, finally, as I mentioned, Java 21, the big one, 
coming out in 2023. Uh, exciting times. Uh, hopefully next year will be a big year for Java. There's a lot of things being packaged inside it. But I'm done with my five-minute video. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.